Well, this was an absolutely fantastic result for this young guy. Crowd absolutely loved it too. And what a sweet looking jigger you have got. Dusty, great performance. Car was glued down. Yeah, yeah, we really had it working well tonight. Uh, qualifying, heat race, and the feature. And that's what you got to be at this deal. You got to be good in all phases. Um, I know, like my, hat, my hat's off to the crew chief, Greg McCormick. Uh, we, we communicated well and we just did, you know, kept it simple. And we had the car rolling around there really nice. And. Uh, um, hopefully we can we can do that to uh, duplicate that tomorrow night. Well, your heat race, you look good right out of the box there as well. So you had to be feeling like, hey, things are rolling. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, there, there was a little less grip in the future, obviously, than where there's in the heat race. But uh, at the same time, the heat race, as good as that thing was rolling around there, I felt really comfortable, and I, I knew we were, you know, had the had as good a shot as anyone at winning this thing. Uh, we just we just made some fine-tuned adjustments and uh, went out there and just tried to run my own race and. I uh, just ran with Brian, didn't let him get away, and then slowly there at the, you know, we got about halfway, started uh, just catching him, reeling him in, and we were able to uh, pull away and get the victory. So we know that you're on the front row tomorrow. Can you put that out of your mind for the next 20 hours at least, or are you going to be thinking about that for most of the night? No, not really. I mean, obviously, it's a great position to start. I mean, uh, I've, I've started in multiple positions in this deal, and just, it's, it's you, you can't ask nothing better than the front row. So, uh Obviously, uh, we're going to have some good guys obviously behind us, but you don't worry about those guys. You just go out and run your own race, do your own thing, and uh, hopefully uh, we get the car working like we did tonight, and we'll be right there. Um, Ten thousand dollars. <throat> <laughs> just well, that, saying. That, that, that would be nice too, right? You know, uh, obviously um, it'd just be a huge, huge. Uh, it's a huge accomplishment for this team, obviously, to do what we've done and uh, put ourselves in a position to obtain that ten thousand dollar check. So uh, I think we'll just go out there. We'll stay focused. Uh, we'll try to make ourselves even better and um, just just do our jobs and have some fun and hopefully there were like I said we're there at the end. You often see cars that look fantastic they're not always the ones that are up the front this car looks BAD A double five but it's still fast as well. Yeah it's, you know, I, I've gotten a lot of compliments on the car obviously uh, the Octane Inc has done a great job on the stickers and everything else and the Buffalo Wild Wings uh, trademark obviously attracts a lot of fans and, and kids and and adults and everyone that loves Buffalo Wild Wings um, it's, it's, been a, it's been a lot of fun to drive it. You know, you, you go to Arizona, you, wherever you go, obviously people recognize the name and are familiar with it. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun for the fans and myself as well. For night two of the Arnold Motor Supply 360 Knoxville Nationals presented by Great Southern Bank belongs to the Blazing Racing number 82, Dusty Zomer with the commanding victory here tonight.